we need to start exploring. Ah, uh, my headset's gone. No, it's not. I'm good. I'm good. All right, we need to start exploring. So, but, oh yeah, I was gonna ditch vittles and stuff. Um, right, we're gonna do this real quick. Gotta ditch some vittles, which is basically like all this except uh, all of my uh, healing things. Store. There is. Some I'm going, or if I see it, I'm going to keep it out. Uh, nah. Nah. I'm going to keep out the ones that give me... No. Uh, eh. Eh. Okay. Do we uh yeah mind attributes so I'm gonna leave that one in there for later potentially potentially and there's bread that bread cannot be good anymore I'm just saying cannot be good so we've put our vittles in there oh yeah we need to talk to Max do I want to talk to Max right now oh we got our toilet. Where we put our space poop. Um, I guess we could talk to Max. Hey, Max. What's up? What's up, bro? As always, I am at your disposal. That's good. Anything you'd like to discuss? Is there anything new? Oh, there's so much. There's so much new. There's so much new. Nothing too out of the ordinary. Just your run-of-the-mill vicar with a violently enthusiastic disposition. Hmm. Violently what? Uh, that's what my parents called it. I grew up in a pit of a town much like Edgewater. I was destined to be a laborer like my parents, but I was infected early with a need to solve the equation. My passion didn't sit well with them. Uh, so yeah, where, why were you so passionate? My parents, ironically. Oh. They internalized the precepts of scientism like no one I've ever known. They had a pure faith. A faith that brought joy to them regardless of the situation. I envied that. I wanted that peace. I thought if I became a vicar, I could find it. Or at the very least, find out why I lacked it. Yeah, were they, were they proud pappies and mammies? They thought I was fighting the plan, should have accepted my lot. Some people pursue the clergy for power, prestige, but that was not me. Hmm. The plan is not one rigid path. There are a variety of multitudes contained within it. Our paths have variants, but we'll end up adhering to it, whether we like it or not. Some choices make the path smoother, some rougher. You can even go outside the lines, but the further outside you go, it's like an unbreakable elastic band. It will only stretch so far before it snaps back. The further it is stretched, the more violent the eventual correction. Uh, let's see, there is, there is so much to talk about. I have run headlong into too many walls in my pursuit of the truth. This book is my last hope, and you were my only hope of getting it translated. Yeah, that seems a bit extreme. I've been called that more than once. What about you? What's your story? Oh, you know, frozen, taken out of frozenness, splatted the captain of this ship, took over the ship met people you know it's a it's a usual story and how did he do that <laughs> well you do seem different than every other colonist let's pretend for the moment i believe you what are you going to do now everything gonna live life to the fullest uh we're just gonna go with we're helping him at the moment who knows what we'll do that seems a dangerous proposition. 
Why risk your life now that it's been returned to you? Um. Good question. Do we have Do we have family? Do we have friends? Do we just doing it because it's right? Um. Yeah. A commendable attitude. Fair enough. Uh. So, yeah, the book was, like, a thing that said, like, don't do things or something. Bokonu, the author, had some interesting theories about man's perception of reality that I thought could be applied to our attempts to decipher the plan. Ah. Uh -huh. Unfortunately, he was also one of the founders of the Philosophist School of Thought, so the book is banned in this colony. Oh, that's right. So, he, the book is banned and he just wanted the book. Philosophism's a false religion that stands in contradiction to almost everything we know to be true. They believe all is chaos, in stark contrast to OSI's belief in the plan. But most of the philosophist perversion of Bakonu's thoughts came more than a century after his death. Hmm. Yeah, any ideas on where we can find someone who speaks French? I've been thinking on that. There's a former associate. Uh, infamous philosopher scholar who fled Terra 2 some years ago. He's an expert on Bakonu. He's also who told me of the journal's presence in Emerald Vale. If anyone in this colony could translate that book, it would be him. Fair enough. Well, I guess that's where we're gonna go next. That's a good question. We should start on the Groundbreaker. It's where I'd go if I wanted to get off Terra 2. Great place to pick up a ride to Hephaestus, Scylla, even Monarch. All I need is access to a data cartridge from the security terminal. Their easily hackable system keeps a registry of all crew manifests for both arrivals and departures. Mm -hmm. All right. I'll comb the last six months of departure manifests to track the philosophist's off-world destination. Uh, so, uh, how do you be did you become a, you know, hack the planet? Before I transferred to Edgewater, I had a wealth of time to develop certain, uh, secular skills during my years serving a particular penitentiary flock. I meditated, led sermons, provided guidance to the inmates as needed, of course. I also played prison yard tossball and taught myself a bit about computronic security systems. Fair enough. I, I guess. Sure. Sounds good. Thank you, Captain. We're on our way. But that reminds me, we should probably, uh, you know, beef up. Oh, but, nope, there he is. Our vicar with, uh, a perk. He can raise our hack skill, which, um, yeah, we're just going to have him raise our hack skill. <laughs> we're going to apply that because we need more hack. Hackity hack, don't come back. Um, ah, my, my thing, I keep doing the wrong thing. So he has a gun and a toss ball stick. We're going to give him, oh, that, that one's level eight. Never mind, that one's, that one's better. We're going to remove. Your, can I, can I remove it? Can I unequip it? I forget. Uh, no, we cannot. So does that mean we just equip another? Nope. Oh yeah, I have to put it as melee only. That's right, that's right. I know what I'm doing now. I remember all the things I should. Weapon melee. There we go. There we go. We're gonna we're gonna get our followers so killed all the time. So uh, we should probably go talk to Pavardi real quick. Uh, it's gonna be this is gonna be a talkie a walkie talkie episode. Hello, you are not where you should be. Oh boy. Uh, hello. Are you in here? There you are. Hey, girl. I am not the ship, but we have become so intertwined that sometimes I fancy the throb of her engine is my heartbeat, her hull, my body. 
All right, Ada, you you kind of thick, girl, which is fine. I could probably spend years fixing this boat, stem to stern. Well, maybe we. Oh, there's nothing to talk about. Fair enough. All right, we can't pester about Thomas, which I wanted to do. Well, timing and all that. So let's get out of here. I was thinking maybe we should, we could go back. Oh, um, I'll mess around with, hey, what's that, what? Emergence? Oh, yeah. When did that come up as part of the thing? Okay. That wasn't in the UI before. So we can go to see Gladys. Uh... Uh, or we, oh, we need to go to Phineas's lab. I forgot. We need to go talk to Phineas on his lab. So we're going to go there, but we do need to go to the ground. Oh. Yeah, I know about the map. Uh, yeah. Yeah. Arriving at Phineas's top secret orbital lab. Yes, it's so top secret. No one would know that there's someone here. Alright. Alright, so we're gonna go to Phineas's lab, and we're going to take Vicar Max and Pavardi. So we can take two people with us. Never through touch that. We'll need more security. I mean, the big gaping frickin' hole. Waiting for it to load. This is gonna be a walkie-talkie episode, it looks. No, no much shooty-shooty. <clears throat> Hello? Can you hear me? Does this work? Oh, damn it! Blast! That's loud! But yeah, can hear you. I'm just securing my ongoing experiments and securing myself. Neat. Mind the mess. Uh, I haven't had a visitor since. Uh, in fact, I've never had a visitor. Hey there, big bull. What is it? Excuse me a moment. What is this? This is bubbles. Bubbles looks disgusting. There's a dead one. What is this? Oh, it's a sisty pig. Right. Ooh. Can we pick up these posters? Neat. We're just gonna take your stuff now. You know, just steal everything not held down. Skier body in the SK system. Okay. Wait, was this where... No, this wasn't where. Hibernation helmet? What? Uh... Dehibernation experiment notes. That's a lot of notes. Um, I will scroll slowly so you people can read if you want. There's a lot of stuff. He was talking to me like a slab of meat. And apparently we have brain damage. That's always good to know. Oh, yeah, yeah. I mean, I do love to vomit. What does the hibernation helmet do? Give me tech skills. What's this give me? Sneak. I would rather have tech skills. Whoa, that's a... That's an ugly, ugly helmet. It's an ugly face. We have a terminal that we can look at. 
There's a shrink ray, which is a gun we won't use because we can take stuff. I like how we're just jacking all of this stuff. 14. Remember the in the it this time. Absolutely vital. 14, 14, 14. Fair enough. I'm just gonna keep looting your stuff real quick, Doc. Don't oh. creepy. Don't worry. Mop up melted pig. Do we have any more? It's a pocket watch. He doesn't need it. He doesn't need to tell time. Time is but a meaningless void of voidiness for him. So, hey. Oh, thank the law. Your skin hasn't spontaneously changed color. Potential side effect of the revival process. Very rare, but uh, you never know. Right. Welcome to my little uh, habitation, such as it is. I've got uh, caffeinoids, cysty bits, if you're into that sort of thing. So, welcome. Make yourself at home. My secret hideout is your secret hideout. Uh, okay, well, uh, we have a bit to talk about, I think. Not at all, my intrepid accomplice. I should thank you for tolerating my somewhat brusque manner. I only regret that I couldn't save more of your fellow settlers, what with being hunted by the board and emptying my supply of necessary chemicals. So, of what course. do we want to talk about? Is it going to be a huge list of things? What's on your mind? Please don't be a huge list of things. Oh, there's... There's not There's not a lot of things. Oh, it's not you. I uh, do experiments in that room. Some of them get quite scientific. The unexpected is to be treasured, but uh, from a safe distance. Regardless, it's quite comfortable in here, you know. I have my beans, have my caffeinoids, plenty of toilet paper. He knew. He knew. Absolutely. Let's talk. Oh, yeah. Well, meet my crew. My two-man crew. No, and I've been trying very hard to avoid making eye contact. Nice to meet you, Dr. Wells. I'm Parvati Holcomb. Wait, not another word. I don't want to know your name. I don't want to know who you are. Let's just enjoy our plausible deniability while it lasts, shall we? Why don't you just invite the entire colony to my secret, carefully concealed laboratory? It isn't as if I wanted privacy. You invited me. D relax. They're with me, bruh. They're cool, guys. You cool? See? They're cool. Oh, fine. As long as you're vouching for their character and they aren't touching things. For what it's worth, I am pleased that you found a crew, such as they are. I picked you out of the hope for your talents, after all. It's only natural that others would gravitate toward you. Yeah, I'm, uh... Yeah, I'm charismatic kind of guy. Yes, indeed, well done. Also, you still haven't spontaneously liquefied, which pleases me immensely. Progress. Wait, what? What's on your mind? Is there anything else we need to talk about? Nope. Okay, we're good. We can leave now. Um, but first, I am going to steal your your shrink ray. Science weapons are unique weapons that have strange and powerful effects. Science weapon damage and the strength of their effects both increases your science skill is increased. Cool. Aha! Uh -huh. I see you found my portable molecular compression device, better known as a shrink ray. Find a target, point, shoot. Your target will shrink down into a manageable size, whereupon you may commence beating them to a pulp. Feel free to try it on a marauder sometime. Hmm. Would it be cheating if I shrunk someone down, then beat them with a melee weapon? That's the question. So we have experiment notes. Oh my gosh, there's so many notes. Alright, we'll just... Oh, they're there. Very small. Uh, rate of explosive cell death. 
Ha! Huh. I don't... I don't want to explode. Oh, he's making a sissy pig come back. Oh, and then it's dead. Never mind. Uh, buy more mouthwash. Huh. Well, I mean, we all need mouthwash. Slaughtering a pig for me instead of harvesting tumors that... Yeah. Gross, buddy. Oh, we can bypass it. With hacking. I hacked. Yeah, it serves as a cat dude. Oh, I hope he didn't name it. Well, I mean... <laughs> well, we kind of killed him. So... You know. All that fun stuff and all. He's, he dead. He dead. Anything new here? We have messages we can bypass again for hacking. And we have something from H... or to H. Blythe. I need your help. Oh, that was... that was us. Alright, well... Yeah, I know. I hacked it. Don't worry. It's, it's fine. It's fine. We're gonna head out now. Go to the breaker, I guess. The ground breaker. You know, just hang out with people and steal stuff. Ooh, is there stuff over here? There is nothing. Oh, there's a glass tube. Tube. So oh, there's a box. You know what? I will hack it. So you got that? Uh, was an ordnance control helmet. Uh huh. Neat. 115 bits. I like that. I like money. Even though we don't really buy anything, but I mean, money's money. So let's head to the ground breaker. And notice that we've spent this entire episode just chit-chatting. But, in this type of game, it's bound to happen. Unless I skip all the flavor. And you wouldn't want me to skip all the flavor, would you? Probably do. Uh, can we load, please? Loading the game. There we go. Oh, we put the posters somewhere, apparently. Oh, and what? Two? Health thing? What? And there's a locked one? I will come back to you when I don't have to... ...use a lockpick... ...on you. Yeah. Alright, so now we're gonna head... To, wait, what's on Monarch? Uh, what? Then we, then there's Scylla. I don't. Wait, do I have to go to any of these places? Um. Oh, Ada may know how to fix this guy. Okay, well, let's talk Welcome to her real back, quick. Captain. How can I be of assistance? Tell me how to fix the rubit. The unit is a cleaning sam. Hawthorne brought it on board some cycles ago, I'm sure with the intent to modify it. But I've never seen it up and running. Alex likely recorded progress notes detailing his efforts to modify Sam. If you check the terminal in your captain's quarters, we may be able to determine what work remains in order for Sam to properly operate. Uh-uh, okay, well... Take care. I require a functioning captain to run the ship. Huzzah. 
Guess we're gonna run up and thought we were gonna leave. Guess we're not. I need to learn how to make the rubat robot. Uh, first Sam results. Don't forget if uh, man. So he wants to upgrade a sanitation robot. Yeah, delivery compact. Oh, he was. We're gonna put an acid steeper on it. Oh wait, but it's been delayed. Um, who knows? The broker who overcharged me for the information regarding the location of the acid steeper I can or flitch. Uh, in Roseway. Where's Roseway? Oh, wait, what? Where's Roseway? Alright, so we have to go to some place called Roseway, which is, uh... Oh, it's just in Roseway. Wherever that is. I don't know where that is. But, when we come back, we will actually continue on with our mission, and we will head to... Cheese. Head to the Groundbreaker, or somewhere else, depending on where. I want to go. So, till then, y'all take care, and of course, have a good one.